Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are so close to EAFC 24 releasing to us all. And what I want to do today is take a look at all the dates and times that you need to know to get ready to get on EAFC as soon as you possibly can. There's a lot of stuff upcoming. I don't want you to miss any of it. We're going to talk about it all today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Now, one thing that's going to help us out today as we look through all of these dates and times is a cheeky calendar. Why not put it all on a calendar? And we are here currently. Today is the 12th. If you're watching this video, the day that it's posted, this is Tuesday the 12th. And we're going to start by looking back at yesterday with the ratings and talk about that through the rest of this week before we get into a lot of the craziness. So let's start there with what happened yesterday. Of course, we've had ratings, right, for the past couple of weeks. Honestly, there's been leaks, there's been news and information. We've known some of the ratings of these cards, but officially EA dropped them yesterday. The first 20 24 players, the top highest 24 rated men and women's players in FC 24. The best part and the most interesting part about the ratings we learned yesterday, though, is EA told us the play styles and play style pluses on some of these cards and even some of the work rates and some of that stuff that we didn't know from before. Mbappe with the quick step. Playstyle Plus, that's very interesting for his card. Lionel Messi is a center forward item, and it says on here that his work rates are medium, medium. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate. There's been issues before with EA's database right away when they've dropped it. There have been problems with it. So I wonder if the Benzema and the Messi work rates were flipped because Benzema was medium, medium last year, and on here he shows us low, low. And that was Messi's work rates last year in FIFA 23. Uh, so maybe there's some issue going on there. But a lot of great ratings that were dropped. And also a sleeper thing that not a lot of people are talking about, but it's actually massive. If you go under the Ultimate Team tab here, you can see Playstyles. All of the playstyles have been unveiled, and playstyle pluses kind of tells you what each one of them does for the scoring, passing, ball control, defending, physical, and goalkeeper areas of the pitch. So make sure you kind of click around on their website and look through a few of those things because there's actually some really good information and kind of learning the new playstyles as they get dropped into FC24. Now, of course, we don't have all the ratings, but Foot Scoreboards database does have a ton of these ratings. So if you want to still look through that, this is a very useful website, but we'll be waiting for the full database guys coming on Friday. Yes, that is one of the next big dates we have to look forward to. EA confirmed it on the ratings website right here, September 15th at 12 p.m. Pacific time, which is actually uh, two hours after the content drops. So that'll be 8 p.m. UK time. That'll be two or sorry, 3 p.m. Eastern time. That'll be two hours after the content drop. That is what that time is. And that'll be coming this Friday. Now I've got this arrow in here. What do I mean by this ratings release? that's going to happen all week. EA love to drag out this whole ratings reveal process, guys. They absolutely love doing that. I would not be surprised if we saw ratings releases and reveals since EA has been tweeting out a lot of this stuff every single day this week. Watch their Twitter, watch a lot of news. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they tweeted out like, you know, the top dribbling cards in the game or the top cards with pace, maybe the top five-star skillers or something along those lines. That sort of information, I think they'll kind of milk it out through the rest of this week and maybe drop a few more players here inside of this uh, ratings website list as we move on. But Friday's the big massive day for that because we get the full official EA database with all the cards in it. That's going to be very, very exciting. Now, also, I've got a thing, couple things here about the web app. We'll talk about that in a second. But what I want to move on to talking about, which could be coming on Friday, are the launch pitch notes. And maybe you remember what these are. Maybe you don't. But this is one of the biggest pieces of content that we look forward to every single year because it gives us so much information about the beginning of the new Ultimate Team cycle. And this was dropped last year, I think like a day before or maybe even on the day of the web app. The date varies. It could be sometime this Friday. It could be later on, on the same, um, like the week or the day before the web app potentially drops. But this launch pitch notes update, guys, is something that we learn about so many different aspects of early game content. The early access content, ones to watch, new team of the week card, Last year, they talked about featured team of the week cards, player of the months, heroes, which we know some about already, icons, which we know some about already. I think last year, this was the first time that EA actually posted Gerd Muller, Jabi Alonso, and Jarzinho as the official new icons coming to FC 24. And this year, or sorry, that was FIFA 23. For this year in uh, FC 24, what I'm most interested about is 
we haven't heard much at all about ones to watch. And what I'm really looking for with this launch update pitch notes is for EA to tell us a little bit of something about ones to watch. I mean, we've got a card design that people have been posting. I don't know if this is a true leak or not, but man, this transfer window has been absolutely insane. One of the craziest I can ever remember. Messi, Neymar, Kane, Benzema, Conte, um, you know, and Kunku, Diaby. So many players have moved clubs in this past transfer window period. A once to watch promo could be banging this year. So I really hope that we have that promo upcoming. And I really hope we get some information about that inside of this launch update pitch note. So that is an unknown date. That's why I have a question mark beside it here on the calendar. Dates with a check mark are confirmed by EA or one of their websites. And dates with a question mark are technically not confirmed date. So I'm really looking forward to some launch pitch note updates, guys. We'll be discussing them here on the channel when they do drop because we'll learn so much about FC24 Ultimate Team content when that is released. Now, moving to our next big date, and this is a big one, guys. The wait for the web app from Friday to Monday, it's going to be a long wait, right? From the 15th until the 20th, right? It's that 20th date on a Wednesday that we expect the potential drop of the web app, but it's in question marks, guys, because we really don't know. And that has been the time frame they have dropped the web app in years past. You can see last year they dropped the web app on September 21st, which, which was a Wednesday, and that coincided with the drop of Team of the Week 1. That is oftentimes how they do things. They drop Team of the Week 1 and the web app at the exact same time. So I feel like this could almost be a check mark, like confirmed, but it's really not because we don't know yet. If we get the launch pitch notes here in the next couple of days, then we might know that information before the web app drops. Honestly, guys, September 20th is an expected date, but it's not a guarantee. That's what really what I can, what the message I want to convey to you guys is it is not a guarantee. This day is officially called the uh, spam F5 all day day until we have, um, you know, the web app actually, actually dropping. And when the web app does drop, it usually drops at content time. Think about it, right? The team of the week is released. The team of the week is released every single Wednesday throughout the year at 6 p.m. content time. That is around when the web app starts to open up as well. Sometimes 6, 10 p.m., sometimes 6, 15 p.m. I'm talking UK time zone, sometimes 6, 7, 8 p.m. That's when we're usually all able to get on the web app for the first time time and that is i mean obviously one of the craziest times on the game now one thing i will say as we look forward a little bit more into the calendar and actually as we look back for a second too Will the web app close on FIFA 23? It actually will. I don't know when that's going to actually happen, but usually EA takes five, six, seven days. So sometime between tomorrow and Wednesday and maybe Friday, they will actually shut down the web app on FIFA 23 and they will, um, you know, kind of take it down for maintenance, take it down for updating and they'll update everything inside of here and it'll turn into the FC 24 web app. So watch out for that. If you use the web app a lot, that's maybe something you have to watch out for, of course. But guys, we're going to have a ton of videos and content and basically how to help you guys get started on the web app when it does come out. So some very important videos coming soon on that information, but not yet because we're here today to look at some more dates and that we are going to continue to do. Now, the big date, and we have a lot of confirmed dates, of course, towards the end of the month because we know what's happening on the official release days, when are we actually going to be able to play the game, right? It's September 22nd. That's the big day. Early access and pre-order access. Basically, if you bought the ultimate edition of the game, you are going to be able to get onto the game at this date. And that is a date that has been known for a while. It's on EA's website. We looked at it just right here. When can I play EA Sports FC 24? It launches worldwide on the 29th of September. But the Ultimate Edition EA Play Trial and EA Play Pro will be able to access the game on September 22nd. So that's the fine print on EA's website, just so you can see it there. And of course, a lot of us have seen this page on the EA pre-order website where it shows what you get up to seven days early access. Now, the question mark that I have on this, and I believe this is how it works, but it's a little bit different every single year. The time that you're able to get on the actual game for early access sometimes it's midnight in your certain time zone so i know on xbox this has been a thing of the past where people will set their time zone to like new zealand or australia so they can get on the game a few hours before everybody else again i don't know if that works i do not recommend doing that um 
honestly, what I would say is when it reaches midnight in your time zone, if you have the pre-order early access, I think they should allow you to pre-download the game. This isn't the actual game right here. This is just the beta that I had. Um, but I think you should be able to pre-download the game so you don't have to just wait until the game is downloaded to actually play after that. Hopefully they allow us to do that. Um, but at midnight in your local time zone, it should be available right around then. So that's big, big news, of course, for actually being able to get on the game for the first time. Now, if you haven't bought the ultimate edition of the game, you can actually still get on the game on the 22nd of September with the EA Play, which we're not talking about as much this year because before... EA Play would drop at the same time as the web app and or in years past it did not last year but in years past it would drop almost at the same time as the web app and then you could run your 10 hours or try to extend your 10 hours or glitch them as long as you could until the actual ultimate edition release but this year which by the way this year I love the schedule so much better than last year guys remember last year when we had the web app on a Wednesday and then we didn't get early access until the next Tuesday it was like five six straight eight days of web app and it was painful there was nothing to do except try to flip bronze and silver cards for like five or six days it was it was honestly terrible it was tough to grind but this year it's going to be a lot different and a lot easier because we're going to be getting on the game only two days after um the web app is actually dropped. So one thing I will say though is if you don't have the ultimate edition, consider EA Play um, because you do get that 10 hour trial where you can get on the game and start playing the game early. Now, the only thing I don't know about EA Play is I don't know if you get access to the Nike promo, which I don't know how this is gonna work, but nothing on this EA Play website mentions that you will get access to the Nike promo. EA Play Pro is PC only, I do believe, and that does mention that you'll get uh, the FIFA points, you'll get access to the Nike Ultimate Team campaign as well. Um, it says that in here, access to the Nike Ultimate Team campaign, but it does not say there's a check mark there for those who just have EA Play. So if you do the EA Play 10 hour trial, I don't know if you're actually going to get access to the Nike Ultimate Team campaign, which is completely interesting to see how that'll work out inside of the game. But that's the way that it looks. So you can actually get on the game with a 10-hour access if you haven't pre-ordered the game. But that is big. And then, of course, for all of us on the game, for this whole entire next week, we have seven days of early access, which is amazing. It's such a short wait to get on the full game this year, like I mentioned. So amazing for that. We will be grinding on this 22nd. It's going to be an insanely hype day. We'll be streaming. We'll be opening our pre-order FIFA points that we, of course, get for pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition as well. Um, again, guys, so many videos upcoming. How to spend your FIFA points, how to start this game the best way possible. So make sure you get subscribed and ready for a lot of those. But for this whole next week, we'll be grinding the game, playing games, trying to get rewards, trading, trying to work the market to our advantage so we can build up coins, build up our team, and also invest for when the full game is released on the 29th of September. And that is the big, big day when everybody will be on EAFC 24. Now, the real question is, what's this uh, Nike promo going to look like? And is it going to somehow sustain itself after the... Um, Ultimate Edition releases out, right? We don't know if these cards are objective only, if they're SBC only, or if they're on the market through in packs or not. We have no idea. We still, once again, do know that in that week of time frame for the early access, Enzo Fernandez and Federico Chiesa are two of the confirmed Nike Mad Ready is the name of the promo, the Nike promo, Mad Ready. Those are two cards, two players that we know are getting cards during that promo, but that's really all that we know about this Nike promo. And then it also somehow might be related to the different types of Nike boots that these players wear. So we'll be talking about that in a video upcoming soon as well. But that's kind of the calendar, guys. We get on FIFA for the first time on September 22nd and actually get to play the game with well, however you do that with 10 hours or through the early pre-order access. Or, uh, of course, well, it counts as the web app, right? The web app is when you first get to actually get on the game and start grinding your account and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we're, we're almost a week away from the web app, which is crazy, man. So we're going to be doing a lot of preparation to get ready for FC24, guys, in a very, very short amount of time coming up this week. But if this video helped you out at all, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a new video here very soon. It's been Native Foot Accountant. See you guys there. Peace.